Okay, so boom, this is the day in the life of a tour wifey, Singapore edition. Let's get into it, baby. Off to Singapore. Singapore, here we come. Malaysia was amazing. Malaysia, we love you. It's so crazy. amazing. We had a blast. O-M-G. You guys just gotta watch the footage. So we made it to the airport finally. Look at us, looking cute like husband and wife. Some fans stopped us on our way to the gate. Actually, a bunch of fans stopped us on the way to the gate, but this is the only one I caught. We finally made it onto our flight where they had the most unique flight intro I've ever seen. Singapore. We have officially landed. We're about to go through customs. A very easy ride. I'm going like 50 minutes, so I watched like one episode of Dahmer. And it's gonna be lit. I'm excited. Just wanted to show you guys the airplane drip, some Zara pants, one of my man's oversized button ups, Louis really Duffel, Yeezys on. I've been wearing these Versace glasses to death because I look tired. We made it to Singapore! So we just got to Singapore, and of course, they have lost Pink's bag and guitar. So at this point, we're kind of getting used to losing bags. <laughs> I'm not even panicking anymore. I'm just like, it's all gonna work out because God has us in his favor. So stay tuned. We'll be fine our bags. Okay, so boom, after Pink finally found his guitar in his bag, we had the red carpet bus pull up and get us. There goes me and my man, kissy kissy. And we finally made it to the hotel called Royal Plaza on Scott. And you know, first things first, we handled business and got some food. Because one thing we don't play about is eating. <laughs> then my man took me shopping. He said, baby, you want to go get some stuff? I said, yes, daddy, I do. Okay. He stays spoiling me. Love that for me, sis. I literally walked over here to see this. And then we hear about music. That's crazy. That's crazy. You have a guitar, lady? Yes. Singapore. Put me shopping. <laughs> Look like a. <laughs> okay, let's try it. A few moments later. <laughs> no. No! This pork, pork skewer, pretty good. Not the best pork skewer I've ever had. So, you try it. Okay. It is good because it's solid. It's not bad, but I would accept this better if it was like already just sitting out and I grabbed it versus if they told me, oh, it's going to be 20 minutes. Because once you said like, oh, it's going to be 20 minutes in my brain. Yeah, my brain is like, oh, this would be crazy. So get into the outfit change. We got dressed up and all black, looking cute like a black king and queen. Pulled up to the mall. It was empty boots. I've never been in an empty mall before. I feel like we were in a movie or something. Like, we're not supposed to be here, but we here and we rocking it and we selling it. Pulled up to the karaoke and you know what's going down. We in Singapore. <laughs> We in Singapore. Now that's our boy Jason Ma. He's a legend and an icon himself. We hit him up saying we were in Singapore. He took us out to have a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sis is really trying to sing Beyonce and it's murdering him. It, but you can't Beyonce in Singapore. We just had our first night out for real, for real. And it was in Singapore. That was fun. We did karaoke and we went to 7 Eleven. So we could get some snacks. Oh. Honestly, we didn't really eat all day for real, for real, because we've been in and out of sleep. But it was a fun night. Kind of weird, but fun. Good night. Let's hear it for the dress, baby. And let's get into the look. Let's get into the girls girling sitting up where they're supposed to be. Way. $40. $40. Okay. Went down to the lobby. Pink had fans waiting for him already. Hit the street so we can grab some lunch. Doing rich people, my friends. <laughs> we made it to the restaurant called New Yubin Seafood with our friend Kristen. Salt Bay, here we go. Salt Bay. 
quick plug. So this is the traditional dish. What's this called again? This is a chili crab, Singaporean chili crab. Singapore chili crab. Look how cute these buns are. So good. This crab is fire. We're in uh, Singapore and this is a dish. So apparently over there is where the F1 race is, which is kind of crazy. Our boy Lewis Hamilton's going to be here. Over there is where Pink is going to be performing. I don't know if you can see it from here. Kind of. Boat in the sky. So we just finished you not perfect. dinner or lunch. I mean, I'm and we're going to go to Marina Del Rey. You ain't got the answers. Come on, chill out. You bro. ain't got the answers. Relax. You ain't got the answers. Bro, two seconds later. Everybody's being nice now. See, just two seconds ago, he's yelling at me. So, I actually lied for going to Marina Bay Sands, right? Marina Bay Sands. That's where we at with it. AKA the boat. The marina was absolutely stunning. Architecture was crazy. They had a whole fountain in the middle. Looked like a nipple to me, but it flowed into a river in the middle of the mall. Never seen that before. And you know, daddy had to take me shopping and spoil me. I actually never seen this one before. It matches. Or do we like this brown one? Now we're in Fendi and we just fell in love with this bag. So cute. <laughs> Everybody in Fendi wants a picture with me. So we decided on the white bag, but because we've been losing so many things, in the airport, we're just gonna ship it at home because ain't nobody got time for somebody in the airport to steal a brand new Fendi bag. So we invaded to Marina Bay Sands. This is beautiful. We got a whole river in this John. <laughs> like, this is crazy. Two story Gucci. This is crazy. So we technically can't get up here because it's so freaking exclusive, I guess. But the one just come see the view and the view is crazy. happening around me, running around with pink, and it's a lot that comes with being in this life and being a supportive wife and also trying to figure yourself out. It's a lot, so I'm excited for this new chapter and I'm so blessed to even be able to live like this, so thanks for looking at my feet for a minute. <laughs> so we're about to go to breakfast. We have a day off today and we'll give you a review of the breakfast because we haven't really had good breakfast since we've been here for real, for real. No. So we're excited to try to get something to eat because we're hungry. So we Googled a restaurant to try to find somewhere that sold breakfast, which is actually really cool. It's by this little river situation. Nom, nom, noms. I honestly haven't, have only had Eggs Benedict in New Orleans, so we're gonna test this out. This looks really freaking good and more than you. So we're gonna do the French toast first. Let's go for it. Yeah, good? Wow. With no syrup. Wow. Let me try it with syrup. The bread is fresh, right? I don't cook for syrup. And this not quite as good as French toast. It's good, but it's like, it could be seasoned. I like it. I really like it. I'm saying, I just think it could be better seasoned. I give it a seven. This is my first time having egg Benedict, too. Right. So right here, we got the French toast. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, That waffle's mad good. Yeah, the waffle's really good. What would you rate it? Eight out of ten. I give it a nine.
Scotty. We're heading to lunch at the Shaw Center. Josh and Dave said it's good food. We're gonna see. Honestly, we feel like we haven't had any food that we love in Singapore. So maybe if you have some suggestions, send them to them. Because I would love to love some food in Singapore next time we come. So please send us food suggestions, but we're gonna try this out. It's called coal. Is that what it's called? Coal? Coal, yeah. What do we think about the drink? Crazy. Things are popping, popping all over this mouth. <laughs> so this is the short rib or pork short rib, something like that. Ooh. All right. Scale to one to ten. Eight. Okay, eight. That's a strong, that's a strong number for him. One to ten. Eight point one. Seven. Seven. Running it back, Who's back, back to back. back. <laughs> you are you the official playlist of this place, or are you just that popping? Okay. So I guess we liked it because more, 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 more. <laughs> hey, just invited her to the show. As he just called me, we'll give you two tickets, two tickets. <laughs> She was the absolute sweetest and so was everyone who worked at the restaurant. So then we went back to the hotel. My baby was a little bit tired, so I had him get a little nap in before we got dressed and headed over to the venue for a sound check. One of my favorite parts about Soundcheck is dancing. I love dancing to the music. They usually always jam out and it gives me a space to be free. We made it backstage. I love when they have these classic lights. And now you're married, like this is wild. <laughs> Thank you. Pink had to do an interview with a bunch of different interviewers, so I had to stay on set, make sure he didn't say anything to get canceled, and make sure he looked his goodest, 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 handsomest self. Some fans gave us the cutest little card, then we headed back to the hotel so I can get him changed. Hey, okay, silly wolf. It's Trey hitting the sprint for me. <laughs> Why are you running? Run, Why yeah, are you running? Run, Boris. Meanwhile. It's tired. It's like 20 minutes to come time, and it's about to go down. Fans have already been crazy. Media has been so sweet. Everybody's been congratulating us on the wedding, which I thought was super sweet, super awesome. Bringing gifts and everything. So it's gonna be crazy. We in Singapore with it. I'm so glad I found the love of my life and my best friend. I hope every girl gets this feeling. <laughs>